This is the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart and behind me we can see Deathlef's eHome. It's a concept which was introduced at Dusseldorf in August 2017. It got a lot of information about it in the press in many countries. Uh, unfortunately some of it was incorrect and I'm going to try and uh, point out what was incorrect right now. The most important thing is, whereas the uh, van is covered with these solar panels, this is just a prototype. It cannot be bought and it in fact cannot really be used yet. It's the idea which counts. Now, the solar panels themselves are not connected to the motor. To get a motor to run, uh, you would need a huge amount of power which cannot be got from the panels as technology exists today. Uh, if you're at the equator getting uh, on a full sunny day, you'll get approximately, very, very approximately, one kilowatt of energy per square meter of solar panel. And that one kilowatt for a van like this might get you two kilometers. And that's at the equator on a sunny day and that's not a, a possible under current technology. However, as things are improving, we've now got to around 35% efficiency with solar panels. If it, maybe I'm being silly, but if it got to 100%, we've now tripled it. But that's still only six kilometers. Ha having said that, it will power absolutely everything inside. Now, as far as this is concerned, obviously it's just a prototype to show you what it will look like. Uh, the, the, it, it isn't connected together, it's just a, a show. Indeed, if it were, were connected together, there's still the problem that when you put a bit of shade on a panel, then it's, it ceases working or it doesn't work very efficiently. But the point here is the idea. There are now cars which have, pan again, prototypes, but they will charge when they're in the sun. And that charging, in the case of a car, it's not so heavy, it'll take you a bit further. And, okay, you might be only a few kilometers from the uh, next charge point. So, no petrol engine can give you that. If you run out of petrol, you've run out. But if you run out of e electricity, maybe it's only three or four kilometers away. Maybe you've just got to park your vehicle in the sun and then take it. But uh, it's the idea which counts. And what's really exciting about this is it's being thought about. And I personally believe that whereas the motors in here, or sorry, I should say the batteries, will take, according to Aveco, up to 180 kilometers at present, we do have the possibility of vans taking people much further. And that's good news for the environment. It's also good news for us because once this comes online, it'll be much cheaper than using diesel.